Hey folks, Krusty Old Marine with you. I'm doing a review on something a little bit different for me today. I've got a 2014 Ford F-350 and been doing a little work on it lately. A little more performance out of it and uh, make it a little better truck. It's, uh, it's a really nice truck. I've had it for four years. I bought it in 18 and I uh, got 144,000 miles on it right now. But anyway, uh, one of the things that was leaking is this nasty looking piece of junk that Ford puts on here. This plastic pipe. It's the uh, intercooler cold side pipe. So I decided to replace that with the spool logic uh, intercooler pipe. It's it's got some metal parts in it, uh, better rubber uh, pieces, and uh, we'll give you a little quick review on how that went. But this thing right here, piece of junk. So, so right there is the replacement. That's the spool logic. Um, Looks really nice, red, shiny. Uh, my truck is blue. I wish that I had a blue one. They make that in black, anodized aluminum and the red. And I just decided to go with the red just to be a little bit sporty. But uh, they don't give you any instructions on how to put it in. It's not too hard to figure out if you're at all mechanically inclined, but they did show on the picture. That I don't know if I can get a shot of it down here. This bottom boot down here I'll show you the picture in the advertisement. They show it turned the other way. There's a long side and a short side. They show the long side going into the intercooler, but that really won't work because then it drives it right over here into the belt and pulleys. Um, it's awfully tight, so it actually worked better turning it with the short side to the intercooler and then up. Um, you know, this is anodized aluminum right here. Uh, it's powder coated and the quality of the powder coating is not fantastic. You can see right here, just bumping it with the end of the wrench, chipped it up a little bit and already got a couple of little scratches on it. The clamps, uh, they must be Chinesium metal in that because we pulled two of them apart just tightening it up and broke off about, about right there. So luckily we had these clamps off the uh, original and just stuck those on there. They look, they work fine. They don't look quite as great. One thing I almost forgot to cover is the connector pipes right here. This is, I'm not, I'm not sure it's, it's a rubberized pipe, but it's uh, reinforced. It's very stout. It's much more stout than what the uh, factory Ford part was. So I don't have any concerns about that. I don't think it's going to dry rot. And I definitely know it's a lot stronger than the thing Ford had on there. So Three star, and like I said, you know, I'm giving it that just because of the Chinese metal in the uh, clamp and uh, for the cheap uh, powder coating. But uh, performance wise, works great. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, don't forget, kids, X, well, I've only got one finger, I'm holding the camera. Uh, X's win matches and keep the greasy side down. Y'all take care.